What's a no shit moment where you realized you've been doing something the wrong way for years? When I was five a Pizza Hut employee told me that the powder on the breadsticks was called fairy dust. Ordered extra fairy dust on my breadsticks until I was around 14 when an employee said do you mean garlic salt? It still devastates me to realize how obtuse I was. It wasn't very long, but when I was learning to drive my dad was explaining the rule of thumb regarding a safe distance to be behind the car in front of you. I thought it meant to hold your thumb up and if your thumb didn't cover the entire car you were too close to it. When he caught me doing that he asked me what I was doing. When I explained he burst out laughing, then considered it, and concluded it wasn't a bad idea, but perhaps a bit distracting. We bought a nice liquor cabinet. We got it delivered and noticed it was a bit shorter than we thought. No biggie. Three years later, we're moving. Lift up cabinet and these beautiful, ornate, screw-on legs wrapped in tape and bubble wrap fall off the bottom. Looks so much better now. Reminds me of when my mum bought a new sofa. About six months later she's hoovering under the cushions when the base fabric pulls back to reveal some sort of metal and, a mattress? Turns out we had a sofa bed. Made my friends sleep on the floor with a sofa bed right there. Until last week, when my father-in-law would made a phone call on his very basic non-touchscreen flip phone he would open the menu, scroll to the phone icon, open it, hit the soft key for contacts, scroll to the person he wanted to call, press OK, then press the soft key to call. When he mentioned how he preferred his landline, because he could just dial the number, I said humor me. Just dial the number and hit the talk button. I've never seen a man so simultaneously grateful and embarrassed. Couple years ago I was trying to open some toothpaste and had to break the seal of the tube, I used to look for something like a nail to break it, then one day, I looked at the pointy end of the cap and thought what if I could use this to break it and oh shit it did fit and broke it effortlessly, and so did every other tube product I had in the house and their respective cap, my mind was blown. Edit, changed dental paste to toothpaste since it sounds weird in English. Since the dawn of time, I would pick up the silverware and utensils out of their tray in the dishwasher and put them away in their drawers then go back and pick up more out of the dishwasher. Then one day I saw my wife lift the tray out of the dishwasher, and I legit stood there with my mouth open. When I was a kid I loved drinking coffee, but didn't know how to make it. My mom taught me but the coffee ratio she told me to use was like one tablespoon per one pot of coffee as opposed to the actual ratio one tablespoon, one cup of water. Fast forward about 13 years to a couple months ago, and I was reading the back of my Folgers coffee thing, and there was a little diagram showing how much to actually use. I then realized my mom had told me the wrong amount so I a, wouldn't drink all her coffee, and b, wasn't super hyped up going into school. I always thought eggplant tasted itchy, like itchy was a flavor, like sour or salty. Fed some to my baby and his face turned red wherever the eggplant touched, and I realized we're both just allergic to eggplant. And itchy isn't a flavor. Edit, thank you for the silver, kind internet strangers. My mom has been pronouncing Massachusetts Massa two shits for years and no one corrected her because they thought she just had strong feelings about Massachusetts. My mom used to refer to me as a bull in a china shop. Always heard it as bull in a china shop. Thinking it was a compliment. At about 22 I hear someone else use the phrase and realized she meant bull, not bull. I own a car with swivel headlights, and it was very nice to have that. Discovered three years in that I had never turned on the swivel feature. My uncle has a 2005 Lexus that has swivel lights. When the car turns off, they face down. The swivel motor broke in both headlights a few years ago, and no longer turn up to face straight. He lives a few hours from me, and I don't visit that often, so when I finally went to visit him, I pointed out the problem. He had been using his high beams full time at night for years because he thought the low beams just weren't good enough. My name is Ryan. It took me until I was in first grade to realize my name wasn't in the alphabet. My mom had told me my name was in the alphabet, and I felt so lucky. She obviously meant the letters to spell my name were in the alphabet. 
But nope. It took that long to realize the alphabet didn't go W, X, Y, and Z.